Sasha and Bailey versus Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler. So Sasha's awesome. Bailey's awesome. Dude, I'm a one tag match, four themes. <laughs> that <laughs> that hey, happened. Sure. Hey, uh, it should have been eight themes. So I don't have to watch it. So Sasha and Bailey are awesome. I love Shayna Baszler. Nia Jax is also out there. So the story is because there's no heel, excuse me, there's no baby faces anywhere on any show in WWE. Sasha and Bailey, the evil champs who bicker with each other and steal the credit, and you're not supposed to, they're completely unlikable, but they were the baby faces here. They're getting destroyed. They're trying to come back. The other team can't get along either. And Naya's just bad, man. She's a bad pro wrestler. So they do some stuff, and Naya goes with the you can't powerbomb Sasha, and Sasha goes all Billy Kidman and drops Naya on her face. Naya screams, oh, my nose, my nose. And they're doing some stuff with Naya, and they whip her in, and I swear to God, she's walking the ropes like Big Wood in front of 200 people in a junior high in 2000. So Shayna tags herself in, saves the match. She puts the champs both in submission. She got like a leg, leg grapevine on one and a chokehold on Bailey, and then she grabs Sasha's arm and chokes Bailey out with it and wins. So Naya and Sasha are your new tag team champs. Three quarters of the people in this match were good, so it was fine. It was nothing special. It was nothing you wouldn't see on any random TV show. And the match is over. And there's Charlie or Kayla, whoever's in the ring, trying to interview the new champs. Naya refuses to let the woman interview them and refuses to let Shayna say anything. She just barks and shouts and roars and laughs. It's cringeworthy awful. It's terrible television. And they cut to the floor where the announcer's like, man, you got to feel bad for the role models. <laughs> because they are the baby faces of the stupid ass feud. Well, Vinny, dude. Yeah. Let's start at the beginning. There were no baby faces in this match. We had four heels wrestling each other. The fucking crowd on the screen is dead. No one's cheering. No one's clapping. Nobody's getting behind because there's nobody to get behind. No. So we're supposed to we're supposed to like get I don't know like Nia's in there selling. I'm like, am I supposed to fucking be cheering for the heat on Nia? Because I'm not gonna. Are you sure she was selling? No one else is. It's either. hard to tell what she's doing. Like the finish, listen, the finish was great. It was a really cool looking double submission. Now they've got the deal where Sasha and Bailey can bitch about who submitted and who was legal, and it will lead to their breakup. I saw everybody raving about how cool the finish was. I just said the finish was great. But let me bring all of you down to earth, okay? Except for those of you that don't watch the product, then you don't care. But the rest of you that do watch. Bailey and Sasha were the best thing on three shows, okay? Mm -hmm. As the women's tag champs, they worked Raw, they worked SmackDown, and they worked NXT. They brought life to all three of these shows. They were great. Now they are no longer the champions. Mm -hmm. They are now relegated to one single show. And now the team that can be on all three of oh these my shows... God. Involves oh, God, Nia Jax. Oh. They're the tag team champions. Oh. And another thing, by the way, Monday's Observer Radio, and today also on Observer Live, because there's there was an advertisement for this match on Facebook and some other places. The advertisement was Sasha and Bailey versus Nia Jax or Shane ba Shane, it was Shane and Baszler and Asuka were on the graphic. Okay. Because that was the plan. But plans change. And on Monday, they did the angle to put Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler together. Which, the angle was, they hated each other, but then they decided to be a team. It's fucking ridiculous. Okay. So that night on Observer Radio, you can go back when Dave and I were talking about this. And he was like, why would they take Asuka out of this match and put Nia in? And I said... Maybe they're winning. Because I think what happened was they decided to take the titles off Bailey and Sasha. And they did not want Asuka stuck in a tag team with Shayna Baszler. And so they got her out of there and they put another person in. And I was worried that this would happen. I suggested that this might happen. And my fears have come true. Now we have to watch Nia 
on Raw and on SmackDown and potentially even here and there on NXT as long as they remain the tag team champions. And not only that, they're continuing the breakup of Bailey and Sasha, which is the fifth fucking team, everybody, that they have teased breaking up since Friday Night SmackDown. Five teams have either bickered or they're on their way to breaking up since SmackDown. Five! And the best of the best, Bailey and Sasha, now appear to be breaking up when they are at their fucking peak. So, yeah, the finish was great, but there's a lot of other shit you got to think about here that is not great. So I thought Nia was horrible in the ring. I thought she was horrible afterwards. And so I put it to a Twitter poll, which was worse, Nia's wrestling or Nia's promo. And I'm actually kind of stunned by this. 62%, almost 2 to 1, see her wrestling was worse. I would have voted the other way, but hey, pick your poison, I suppose.